be online. Salam alaikum. It is tolerance, it is love, and it is peace. And today we are starting a two day conference, the second global tolerance across cultures conference. We are going to start the opening with His Excellency, Sheikh Engineer Saleh bin Sultan Al Qasimi. He is online. He was not able really to attend, so he is online. Tawil Umar, Your Excellency, please. Yes, that's him. Okay, due to some technical, as expected, difficulty, uh, we cannot reach Dr. Sal uh, uh, Sheikh Salim. He is online, but we want to open this, so we are going to start with the chairman of this conference. Uh, okay, so Sheikh Salim is here. Tawil Umar. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Can you hear me? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Excellencies, Honorable Guests, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace, blessings, and mercy of God be upon you and good morning. On behalf of my colleagues and members of the Board of Trustees of the International Foundation for Tolerance, 
I welcome you to the second World Conference on Cross-Cultural Tolerance in Kosovo. A warm greetings to you from the United Arab Emirates, which is the epitome of the spirit of peace and tolerance. I offer this spirit to the noble Kosovan people and the Republic of Kosovo. I am pleased to extend my thanks and gratitude to our friends from the organizing this international conference and forum, which aims to promote the philosophy of tolerance through the role of cultures among the people of the world. All thanks to them and to you. Brothers and sisters, we are we all know that God Almighty did not create nations except for them to know each other, and that the most honorable among them in the sight of God are the most pious of them. This is how religion was propagated, urging all to do good and spread the message throughout the earth. Cultures, ideologies, and beliefs in tolerance are virtues that contribute to the establishment of peaceful coexistence among all human beings, whether it is between members of a society or a single state or between the people of the state. Ladies and gentlemen, perhaps it occurs to you, occurred to you as it became known to the entire world and its international institutions a few years ago that my country and homeland, United Arab Emirates, was the first country in the world to establish a ministry of tolerance under the directives and visions of the wise leadership of our country. These directives were based on the values the people of the UAE grew up with that encourage and promote the concept of tolerance. This constitutes a solid foundation for building societies that achieve and consolidate stability through happiness of their members, regardless of their culture. And there is clarity and sincerity of upholding tolerance as a, a philosophy that does not deviate from its path. Given that the UAE hosts more than 210 nationalities, from different countries of the world from various and diverse ethnicity, beliefs, and ideologies. They, they live in peaceful coexistence and contentment that does not disturb their lives. This is, however, always accompanied by resentment of our country success and global leadership international development indicators, at the same time acknowledging the recognition appreciation and praise of international development of institutions. Ladies and gentlemen, in line with the ex extraordinary message of the conference and the more tolerance becomes a cultural value, the more it needs to develop and disseminate its practices and exchange experiences followed by discussions between experts in various fields of humanitarian work. This should include clerics in various monotheistic religions, political leaders, media institutions, as, as well as between societal and cultural institutions. Tolerance is a virtue that only comes through the integration and involvement of all the institutions and efforts of society. Brothers and sisters, distinguished guests, we are proud to, and pleased to announce the launch, the launch of the two products that inspire tolerance around the world. A special natural UAE honey, which is called Tolerance Honey by Hatta Honey, and a special perfume made in the UAE dedicated for tolerance and its name Salam, which is peace. In conclusion, I would like to join all the participants and attendees of the global conference gathered here on the soil of the Republic of Kosovo to express 
our confidence in the ability of its people and its politi uh, p uh, political leadership to promote a cultural of toler a culture of tolerance in all countries as well as its capabilities to develop and build for the future may god almighty protect protect your country all countries of the world and all mankind thank you and have a successful event thank you thank you sheikh salem for your wise words and which will inspire us for uh, the whole the rest of the conference today and tomorrow and now may i invite a uh, professor dr edmund Har hi Rizzi. Did I say it right? Yeah, okay. Finally, finally. Okay. Professor, he's the, uh, uh, for those who are outside of UAE, he's the chairman and rector of University of uh, uh, Business and Techn for Business and Technology, UBT. Uh, and he is the one who is really behind all of this, uh, Professor Raymond. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm really glad and pleasure to welcome you at UBT and to have the uh, opening uh, ceremony of the second uh, uh, Tolerance Across Culture uh, conference. Uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, dear participants, Your Excellency, uh, dear Dr. Abdul Hamid, uh, and your uh, uh, organizing committee, professors, students, uh, and media. Uh, thank you for coming. It's uh, our pleasure to, to welcome you here and uh, really very uh, great momentum and great feeling to discuss about one issue, which is a human-based, a value-based uh, issue, tolerance, culture, peace, uh, everything which has, a, a, let's say, a, a good willingness for, uh, for humanities, and I think this is a very important role. We have to thank, of course, the, uh, the Inter international uh, foundation for tolerance that they um, decided to bring the conference the second congress here in kosovo at ubt here in the university for business and technology in our innovation and uh, 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 technology center which uh, uh, really uh, proud to be co-organizing this uh, conference uh, <clears throat> i think the 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 very uh, this discussion, especially bringing the discussion on a professional and academic level about the issue of tolerance and cultural tolerance, it's a very important, very difficult issues. But it's needed. It's much higher needed to express uh, more, uh, let's say, knowledge output on this direction because I think the global is needed such a interferation. I think uh, uh, bringing your contribution here in this uh, conference, bringing different. Uh, uh, individuals, professionals, different countries, different cultures in one place here, it's, it's a very good momentum. And of course, I have to thank all participants and all contributors uh, to make this conference uh, uh, successful. Uh, I think about the, the role and importance of tolerance and cultural tolerance is not needed to discuss too much. Uh, because we will have, as of today, a different presentation. But in this uh, context, you know that universities has as a, and may play a very crucial role in the contribution of the cultural tolerance piece and, and different positive elements uh, between humanities. And UBT is trying to contribute in this, uh, in this direction. Uh, first of all, uh, offer, we are offering different program studies and different courses which are dealing with uh, culture with uh, uh, culture tolerance, uh, with uh, peace, with different historical intercultural competence elements, and, uh, uh, and as uh, with uh, cultural uh, heritage, in order that uh, we increase the competence and understanding and make the young people a global citizen with a global intercultural understanding in a, in a global uh, level. And other sites, we are trying to support uh, research and development in this direction, having different centers, different institutes uh, uh, among different activities. We have, uh, and we are trying to have a campus around here where students 
can interact with different uh, uh, individuals from around the world, having almost 500 university partnership worldwide, and having an interchanging of mob or, and mobility of staff and students and activities, I think we are trying to create an environment for, for this uh, um, uh, cultural uh, inter interferation and, and also creating the more understanding and, uh, and be able to have a global, uh, as, a, as a, uh, the excellence mentioned, uh, the contribution to peace, the contribution to friendship, to brothership, and, and many other aspects which, which are, are almost uh, uh, needed in this part. And of course, we are trying also to create different models of uh, tolerance here between the uh, different levels, on, on individual levels, on organization levels, but as a, in in a, in a uh, national level. I would uh, take as a, the consideration that Kosovo has as a, is a quite a very rich country with cultural uh, heritage and, and diversities uh, it, because we have an uh, Albanian population but we have as a, all the uh, uh, ethnic groups here and uh, uh, this creates a very good, uh, uh, um, let's say, cross-culture uh, components uh, in Kosovo, which uh, I think we are also very known for this, uh, 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 let's say, tolerance uh, and, and this contribution with, uh, with the uh, centuries. Uh, as a Kosovo constitution guarantees the rights for all citizens to use their language and to practice their religions, and the government has also established a Ministry of Culture to promote cultural diversity and tolerance. There are also several non government uh, organization here in Kosovo that work to promote intercultural dialogue and understanding as well to address issues of uh, um, yeah, discrimination, prejudices, and, and many, many other aspects. So uh, for us, uh, being here in, uh, in, uh, and having different uh, uh, components of culture, uh, culture intercultural competence, uh, and so on, uh, we have very much interest in our, and have a strategic positioning towards the, 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 uh, the culture competence. We are working as a, here with Dr. Abdul Hamid and, and hopefully as a with you to have more contribution on a kind of so-called open culture diplomacy where we can really have uh, different components, uh, academy, training, uh, interaction, conference like today, so in order that we uh, contribute in, uh, in this uh, uh, process, which I think is very important for young generation, but as in general in, uh, in, 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 in the globe which we think uh, uh, is needed. So I don't want to take a lot of time. I wanted just to thank all of you for coming here. I wanted to thank all of you for your contribution, professional contribution, academic contribution. For your presence, it's a, it's, a, it's a great value and great moment for Kosovo that, uh, to host you here. Uh, Kosovo is a friend of yours and, and we hope to, to see you in a permanent way, in an interactive uh, 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 cooperation uh, in a long term uh, and uh, I think we can generate a, a value add and I think uh, we take a lot of values from your side and, and this is a, a, a kind of enrichment uh, of Kosovo and Kosovo people and students and staff uh, in this process. So thank you very much. I have to thank also the organizing committee for a, a great contribution and everything, uh, everybody who is uh, contributed here. Thank you and welcome. Okay, thank you, Professor Edmund, and uh, thank you, everybody. I just wanted to, uh, before I introduce all the speakers, before we do so, uh, let me just give you some news, Akbar Jadida, right? The first piece of news is that we are developing now. Uh, the UBT will have a branch in the United Arab Emirates soon. We are just in the final processes of some documentation, so we'll soon we'll have uh, the branch open, and we hope that by October we'll have our first uh, group of students. That's number one. Number two, today is May 10, 
2023, and it is the birth, the establishment of the Cultural Diplomacy Institute, which is part of UBT. So, yeah, you want it more? So, uh, with this, maybe just, you know, uh, uh, you ask why do we need cultural diplomacy and what is the difference between, and what is tolerance? Everybody talks about tolerance and I'm sure we have two days of discussions with, with tolerance. But let me tell you my own views. Tolerance is one term that is more confusing than any other term, whether it is in Arabic or English or any other language. What is meant by tolerance? Some see tolerance as forgiving people. Some, they, they define tolerance as that if you make a mistake, somebody makes a mistake, just forgive him. معنى التسامح ماذا نقصد بكلمة التسامح؟ هل نقصد فيها التغاضي عن الأخطاء؟ المسامحة؟ In Europe, and I, I, I mentioned, and my good friend uh, George Simon. George, how are you? George is around here, and he's a guru in uh, uh, cultural diplomacy and uh, uh, intercultural. He will be a speaker in the session today, later, and also Dr. Robert Crane. I think he, he is online as well. So in Europe, CITAR, which is Society for Intercultural Education Research, in Europe, they decided not to use the word tolerance at all. Because tolerance, especially in America, it is like a dirty word. It is something that is negative rather than positive. It is accepting people, although you don't like them, but you need to accept them. The International Foundation for Tolerance defined tolerance in a very specific way. Tolerance in our mind is building bridges of understanding and accepting among people, cultures, and societies. So it is building the bridges. It has nothing to do with mistakes. It is taking the initiative. It is starting. Initiating rather than reacting. This is defi def our definition of tolerance. Now one will say, I know uh, Professor Heidi is sitting there and she says, one second, one second, one second. If this is the case, if this is the bridge building bridges, isn't this the same term as cultural diplomacy? And the answer is yes. So now we are looking at the word cultural di diplomacy to replace the term of tolerance in our uh, definition as we define it. And for this reason, UBT has always been innovator and initiator, initiator in many things. And on this day, as Professor Aymon said, we are initiating the uh, Cultural Diplomacy Institute as part of UBT and we want to push the same concept of building bridges among people, cultures, and groups. Okay? So this is how we, uh, we define tolerance. And what I like you to do, I mean, last year we had our first conference in Albesan, in Albania, Albesan University. And we had a session among you know, a, a group of uh, uh, scholars. And they, we ask, I, I pose the same question, what is tolerance? We spent one hour discussing what is the word tolerance, what, how do we define it, and whether it is in Arabic, and we also looked at, uh, at English. In Arabic, uh, there is another term, coexistence. Bil-Arabi ta'ayush, al-musamaha, and so on. So, during today and tomorrow, please, in your discussions, uh, address this issue, okay? Now, the conference, of course, as we know, with every other conference, it is not just the sessions. We have a good panel of speakers. Uh, after the session, we will have one session in Arabic with one presentation, and I think in English, but there will be a briefing. Uh, then the next session will be, uh, we have three uh, uh, excellent speakers, George Simon, Robert Crane, Dr. Mohammed Mutawa, and Dr. Marwa that they will be online Zoom, plus we have one speaker here uh, uh, in the program. We will show you the program uh, in a minute. And everything else, I think we will... Uh, I like to give anything good that you see, 
anything good you see, the credit goes to the committee. I have a team uh, led by uh, Larry. Larry is right there. She is really, I call her the dynamo. Uh, and I have uh, Dr. Heidi. She is here, she is here, she is here, yes. And Dr. Denise, both of them, where is he? Where is she? Yes, okay. These three, the team from UBT, have been really active and uh, it is so interesting because every time I come to, for, to Kosovo for a meeting, you have so many holidays. So every time I come, there is a holiday, and it is these three that, it, although it is a holiday, they come in. Yesterday, uh, we were working here, and I think from my own observation, I think Kosovo takes the lead for uh, uh, more holidays than any other country, I think, in the world. Uh, so congratulations. I mean, that's one achievement. <laughs> May I now, uh, i like to invite we will start with our, the rest of the program. We, have, uh, we will uh, like to acknowledge our speakers, to thank them for their contribution. And after that, we have something very interesting and like a, a surprise uh, for uh, uh, everybody. But uh, for now, may I invite Professor Edmond? And may I invite Dr. Nadia? Nadia, uh, Dr. Nadia, she is a, a dermatologist, so free consultation today, okay? Uh, and uh, Dr. Nadia, uh, she represents uh, Mr. Mohammed Naqi, who is a member of the Board of Trustees for the Conf, but he has not been able to come here. And we are going to start by acknowledging the speakers. Uh, so can, we, can I invite... Uh, Mr. Fakhri Aouda. <laughs> Mr. Fuad Nasrallah. <laughs> Dr. Ali Al-Abadli. Mr. Hassan Al Harbi, <laughs> Dr. Mahdi Sahlawi, <laughs> okay. I'm going to go to the Farah. Farah Yes, because now I had Dr. Professor Yamina. Yes, yes. What's the name of the And may I just uh, uh, mention one thing? No, no, you stay here. Farah is the innovator of perfume, it's called Peace. And can I tell you that all speakers will receive one perfume, I, I hope, before they leave today, okay? So, and uh, she wants to present to Dr. Diamond. The, uh, Uh, one free, five to buy. Okay. Uh, next. Uh, and here our uh, 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 renowned artist, Abdul Azim Zaman. Now we have, after the session, we have a, a painting that uh, everyone will participate in it. And 
uh, on our team and one of our speakers, we consider him part of us, Viola Sacco. Viola? Your Excellency, Dr. Jamal Saidi. Uh, Dr. Denise. And lots of uh, many of the, her students attending, not only attending but speaking as well. So thank you. <laughs> Dr. Beton. I don't want to make mistakes, so you, you pronounce the name. While doing translation, Professor. Mr. Uh, Nasrat Ramadan from uh, North uh, Okay. 
Okay. Okay. No, there's. Give me what? Okay. Samira. Samira Sadiko. Belkis? Belkis is not here. Okay, next. And we have uh, a special thanks uh, for someone who has been very instrumental to the success of this conference, although nobody knows him. But those who stayed in Kosovo, they know him, Alban. He is the manager of the hotel. He manages, he manages all transportation, reception, everything for everybody. So Alban, thank you. Thank you very much. And we have someone also behind the scene, my colleague and my old friend, Bilal Sharaka. Thank you. Thank you. And, Jesse? Jesse? And of course, Professor Imur said, come on, come on, come on, come on, you give me. But uh, Dr. Nadia is here, and she has done lots of work, so why not? So Dr. Nadia Naki. And now, number 10, the dynamo. I left it to be. I left her to be the last. Larry. <laughs> By this, we I think uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor. Thank you, Dr. Nadia. And uh, be no? uh, before we uh, 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 we go, I think we are ready for something different. It is time for to taste some of the Arabian culture and music. Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Doctor. Thank you. Thank you.